better. Oh. Yes. Hi, I'm Natalia Dyer, and I'm doing the breakdown breakdown with Cosmo. I'll be reliving some of the more dramatic moments from my career, and I'll be giving you the inside scoop. Daddy! 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 Phoebe, Clarissa, what are you doing here? Oh, this nice lady sorted it all out. What? Two free tickets. Of the class. It was brilliant. I thought the girls would appreciate a couple of free tickets. Are we too late? Is she going to see me? I mean, yes, I just can't believe that I'm only one degree. degree. I haven't seen this in so long. Um, wow. Is that your story? I think I was like 13, maybe? No. <laughs> so that is a Hannah Montana movie. I was living in Nashville at the time, and there wasn't a lot of big film going on there, so when this came through, it was, it was like the talk of the town was a big deal. And then there was this role for these two British girls, and, it, and I think they just decided, they were like, hey, let's just cast them from Nashville. My accent's not great, I'll, you know, I know that. Um, but, you know, it was a couple days of just that, of just, just screaming um, about Montana. It was so hot, too, that's what I, I, that day in particular, it was so, we were just out in this giant field, and it was so, miserably hot and there were so many extras. That's really, that's the jump off point, isn't it? It's a, uh, yeah, very, very special, special little moment. <laughs> this scene, yeah. I, uh, I was playing Snake, <laughs> like to, to get it to make the buzzing noises and I was getting actually pretty high scores to the point where they had to be like, okay, now we'll crash it. And I was pretty like competitive with myself. Oh yeah. <laughs> Clever. Clever Alice. <laughs> See from yes, God, yes. With Karen May and another female writer director. She's really cool, really funny. Yeah, and it's about a story about this uh, girl in the Midwest who's like in a Catholic school and kind of discovers um, herself and pleasure. And it's funny, it's heartfelt. Um, it's a lot of that from me. <laughs> so <laughs> a lot of, uh, yeah, some of those fun, fun scenes. Um, but it was. It was a good time. It was a fun, another fun low budget indie film with a good story that everyone was excited to tell. I think it was very personal to Karen Maine, but I think, I mean, I found it relatable. I think a lot of people found it relatable. It's just not like a female pleasure, you know, and, and a female masturbation and, you know, it's just not, it's sort of a taboo, you know, and maybe we're getting somewhere with that generally, but it hasn't really been given the love and attention it deserves. As soon as I read the script, uh, well, for the short film, the start of the short film, I was so, I was so excited. I was like, yes, yes, let's, let's get this going. Let's get more of these stories. I'm nervous. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I don't know what else this is too. Oh man. Ooh, nice. Better? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Ooh, um, yeah, that was fun. That was a fun, all of those scenes were like pretty fun to shoot. That, especially the, the um, upside down, the night stuff in the woods was like a really memorable, memorable time. But yeah, again, babies, so, so little. And it's such a journey with it, you know, and it, but it's one of those things that feels like it's been forever ago, but also just yesterday, kind of. Um, so like, I think, because it was so new to, to all of us, I, I think I have very like vivid memories of, of everything. Um, but it's it is fun. I think I'm I'm gonna wait until I haven't gone back and like rewatched seasons. I think I'm gonna wait until you know the very 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 end. I don't think I could have imagined um, how how big it didn't like. I don't think my brain really could have anticipated that. But nobody did. I didn't even, honestly, it was one of those things where we left 
uh, after filming and, and we were like, well, maybe bye forever. I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know if we're even gonna come back for season two, if there is gonna be season two. So yeah, no, it was quite a, quite a surprise. Kinda caught us all off guard a little bit, I think. Come on, let me just take you home, okay? Come here. Oh, yeah. Wanted you wanted this. No, I didn't want this. I told you stop drinking. Bullshit. It's not mess. bullshit. Okay? Bullshit. No, it's not bullshit, man. No, you. You're bullshit. What? You're you're pretending like like everything's okay. You know, like 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 we didn't like we didn't kill Barb. Like like. It's great. I mean, like we're in love wasted. and uh, we're partying. Yeah, let's party, huh? Let's party. party. We're partying. <laughs> this, this is bullshit. Like we're in love? Bullshit. You don't love me? Oh, bullshit. God, that is not the way to do it, is it? I mean, she's dealing with some things, man. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, playing drunk is always kind of a, a bit daunting, because you're just like, you know, how, <laughs> it's just, how are drunk people? <laughs> how do they, how do you? But it was fun, Joe's obviously such a great, you know, a great actor to work with, very, you know, very generous um, with me figuring out how to play drunk. The party was like a long night shoot and I had to get punch thrown on me. Like, I don't know. They, Cause they only have so many multiples of this outfit they created and they have to get it like just right and everything has to, to spill the right way. So it was just, it was, it was a lot of me just like, you know, dancing and then getting punched and then changing and then doing it again. It's just the job, just getting punched thrown on you sometimes. Uh, yeah, again, like it was, I didn't think that the show would get this big and yeah, I think Barb, I don't know, it was really like, oh yeah, but like, not oh yeah, but kind of like, interesting, like, I don't know, such a, such, you know, passion, such, you know, committed passion and stickers and keychains and t-shirts and like, I definitely was like, oh, is Nancy a terrible friend? I don't know if I, I mean, I don't know if you realize that as much. But then, the, I, you know, I think the brothers as well were kind of shocked by it. So I think when season two came around, everyone's like, we gotta, you know, confront this head on. <laughs> we gotta do something about this. Props to Shannon. I mean, people love Barb. Flickering lights. It's a quick way to get a migraine. Jesus, what the fuck? Yeah, you know when you're filming these these kind of scenes, it, it, you know, obviously you don't have a monster there, so they're like. Here's like a drawing of what we're pretty sure the monster is gonna look like. Or sometimes they might have some like, you know, uh, remedial like animated thing with it. So you never really know how, uh, how terrifying it's going to be. Um, you know, and then you watch it and you're like, oh yeah, wow. Wow, that's what it was? Oh man, should I have been more scared? That was fun, a lot of, a lot of breathing. And I, I did have, um, a person in like a suit who was like d doing all the movements and stuff. So it was, that was, you know, really helpful. And the throw wasn't me. I tried to get them to let me do it, but they said no way. Which looking at it, do yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty intense. Um, but I, it, she was, she was great. She did a, a really good job of being repeatedly thrown into the wall. We have a lot of fun when we're filming, and sometimes it's actually really funny when there's a guy dressed up in a suit. Uh, pretending to be, you know, a monster. But then you see it and you're like, oh, that's so scary. Good, great, I'm glad we, I'm glad we did it. And keep threatening to go to stunt school, I think. Um, yeah, it's just fun to be able to like 
physically be able to do what your you know your character is doing. I know that there's like liabilities, and they don't want you to you know break anything and all that stuff. But yeah, I think it's really fun to do your own stunts. I usually try to ask for it. They do, yeah, they do let me do some. They do, like wire stuff, not really. Like getting thrown into things, they're kind of, for some reason, they're really scared about that. Um, but I've, I've been able to do some some cool things. Some this, this, this new season, got to do some fun things. Uh, so looking forward to seeing how that turns out. Well, that was a fun walk down memory lane. I mean, maybe, I don't know, was that fun for me? It was, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's nice to revisit those moments. Thanks for watching. Bye.